what are the ethics, the ethos of business? What is a, a, a proper way to do business? Great story around this. Jan and I had the privilege of actually meeting the people involved in this story uh, in Madagascar. Again, just for a way we can disciple people. It's a wonderful testimony. There's a gal named Elodie. She is a medical doctor by training, actually runs an emergency uh, clinic in a very impoverished uh, area of Madagascar. And she was uh, very regular. There's people who come down from the mountains to sell fruit. And there was a gentleman who, Jan, was it, I want to say, was it seven or eight hours he rode his bike? Do you remember? Yeah, at least seven or eight hours, one way to sell these pineapples. So he's down there trying to sell these pineapples to, you know, earn money for his family. And Elodie, who's a, she's a graduate of the business school, she was watching uh, this woman haggle with him over the price. And she came up, and she's funny, she's a little firecracker. So she just inserted herself into their conversation, <laughs> which is great. And she went over there and she said, why are you doing, because she, she felt convicted, because we know, what is it, a worker is worth his hire? And she, and she saw this, this woman haggling with her peer, by the way. They're both living in a very impoverished country. Goes over and said, why are you haggling with him about this? That's a good price. That's a fair price. Why would you want to ask him for less? And it was like she'd never even thought. It's just because it was, again, that individual mentality of well, what's best for me. I, want, I, can, I can haggle this down. I'm going to get it at a lower price. And totally convicted the gal around this. And then she went back, Elodie, talked with the guy again, and basically set up to regularly buy pineapples from him at the fair price because she's connected to a bunch of places where she could distribute it. And within, correct me here, Jan, if I'm wrong on some of these story parts. Um, and she shared this story on social media, which there's social media in Madagascar. I didn't actually realize that. <laughs> she shared this, this story in, in, in Madagascar uh, on social media, and it got like over 800 shares. And, and saying the whole idea was we need to change our mindset in the country about just haggling people down and instead going, what is a fair price for my neighbor, for their work, for their product? People were not thinking that way, right? A total scarcity poverty mentality versus going, hey, how can we you know, give a fair wage? And, and it definitely spread uh, all over social media and people were, and we know for a fact that people were just, that was planting seeds and some people were actually changing how they were doing business because of what, what she shared. And she regularly then said, look, I'm going to buy at a fair price, regular amount of these pineapples from you because she's got a school and different things where she can use them and sell them. And my understanding is that was a year ago. And from all that fair trade, this is a huge deal. This would like, I don't think ever happen for this gentleman. It'd probably take a way longer time. Within a year, he had enough money to buy a cow, which is a huge deal. He got a cow for his family just from the difference of not haggling those few little cents for each pineapple. But again, the ethos there, right, is the principles that we know, right? That the commerce is not just about what's best, getting the best for you, the best deal for me, but what is, what is a fair price? What is God, what is the value in that person? You know, you know all these things, but it's not a wonderful story.